Baseball fans, it is that time of year. It's one of the best times of the baseball season. Obviously, opening day is one of the best. Playoff time is the top tier best. But the, what, third tier is when pitchers and catchers report to spring training down in Florida, if you're the Blue Jays. Down in Dunedin, the Blue Jays are getting ready to start their uh, spring training schedule on Saturday against the Phillies at 107. And look, we all know how spring training works, right? You get excited, right? You see all the media stuff the last few days and you get the, you know, the, the in-person workouts and the full team workouts as they started today with that stuff. And then you see a couple spring training games and you're like, okay, seen enough. Let's get the season rolling. That's how it works all the time. Now, as I've done every year and I will continue to do so, I will be making a video for ev- for sing- every week's games. So each week that I each week that goes by, I will do a video recapping the week's games. I'm not going to sit here and talk about a spring training game where the game ended 18-10 and by the third inning we're talking about some dude in, in A ball who you're never going to see. So, I'll do the week's games and I've been really thought of an actual day as to when to do it yet Uh, maybe on a Sunday I don't know we'll we'll see how it plays out but that's just the schedule moving forward and now let's break down what we're looking forward to in spring training because look let's be honest there isn't a whole lot but what are you looking forward to well the first thing is seeing all the new faces Yariel Rodriguez Justin Turner and we want to sprinkle sprinkle in IKF Eduardo uh, Escobar and and obviously Daniel Vogelbach, you're going to see them. Now, obviously, Yariel Rodriguez and, and, and Justin Turner are the big the big faces the Jays signed this past offseason. They were in the rumors about other guys, and it didn't happen. So those signings, those are your big fish. So I want to see what they look like. Yariel Rodriguez hasn't pitched in a couple years. Justin Turner, everybody's waiting on the decline. But he just seems like an all-out pro. So, let's see what happens there. I'm just just very excited to see Justin Turner in a Blue Jays uniform. That's basically all I'm going for here. Very excited to see that. And, let's be honest. A lot of the talk around camp has been two things. One, everybody looking like they're in the best shape of their life. And two, Vladi and Alec Manoa genuinely looking different not just oh he's down 10 pounds and he doesn't really look any different you know with Manoa and Vladi they put in the work this offseason and more in particular well I wouldn't say more in particular but those two guys are the keys to this team's success if Alec Manoa can give you god I wouldn't even say the Cy Young finalist season even half that give me a four ERA 3-8 3-8 ERA. 3-9. That's a W. And it puts the team in a really good spot. Because then you're not, you don't have a continuous carousel in that five spot in the rotation. And for Vladdy, it's self-explanatory. If Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is, again, like I said about Manoa, if he is half as good as that MVP type season from Vladdy, this team can take this, they can go to new heights. With the pitching staff that they have, they got to find a way. And for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Alec Manoa, they are big keys to this team's success moving forward. Also, the team overall, I'm not going to get into the specifics, we'll get, we'll get into this stuff in the season preview, but they got to hit better at home. You look at all the Blue Jays' numbers offensively at Rogers Center last year, they're awful. They're bottom 10 in most categories. Hitting with runners in scoring position at home, I believe, was in like the bottom three or four of the league. And it felt that way. Those things can't happen again. So you bring in Justin Turner, who's one of the most clutch guys in the league, you're hoping it can rub off on some guys. Now, we're hearing the news that, you know, in the hitting drills and in their groups... You got uh, Justin Turner in there with Vladdy and Bo. As you would hope. 
So maybe things change there. Obviously, it's spring training, so you don't want to dwell on things too much. But having Justin Turner around a guy like Vladi would be awesome. And it's going to be awesome. Now, every season, there are guys who overperform, overperform, or underperform. And then there's also guys who just come out of nowhere and surprise you, aka David Schneider last season. The Jays are going to need someone like that to, to, to make a statement again. Is it Pelmeciani? Is it Alan Roden? Is it Addison Barger? Is it Ricky Tiedemann? Is it um, or Elvis Martinez? Because those are the names that we've heard so much about recently. For Pelmeciani, dude's got power. For Alan Roden, he really doesn't have power, but he's an incredible player all around. Or Elvis, we all know the stuff from him. A lot of chase, mad power. However, at the big league level, he's probably going to be exposed. So it's how he reacts to that. And Aston Barger really fell off after spring training last year. Got hurt, didn't really regain form, and obviously never got the call last season to the big club. So he's a guy that you want to see take that next step. Who is it going to be? Who's the Davis Schneider this year? Because Davis Schneider is going to be on this team. You're going to need him at second base and possibly left field because I think that's where they're playing him right now. So it, very intriguing. Obviously, spring training is for the younger players for the most part, right? When the Jays were really bad and you got to see Vladdy and Bo and Alec Manoa and Simeon Woods Richardson in spring training, your eyes were glued because you wanted to see them. With the Jays not having a really good farm system, eh, it's not all that exciting. But those few players that I mentioned are really where all our fan, like fan base wise, is where our eyes should be. But I'm very excited. I'm gonna look through the roster real quick to see if there's anybody that I'm missing that I want to bring up and talk about. Um, oh, let's bring up Alec Manoa again because we've heard throughout the off season that he's the number five starter. He's the number five starter, and this and this. Mitch White had a really good second half of his season last year with the Buffalo Bisons. Again, AAA doesn't mean much, but he did. Bowden Francis, whenever he got called on by the Toronto Blue Jays last year, did his job and did it well. Don't be surprised if he stretched out as a starter this year. Or do they continue with him as the long man or the guy to have two or three innings and stuff like that? Going to be intriguing to stuff. Intriguing to see. What am I talking about? Also, how are they going to deploy Chad Green? Fully healthy offseason for him. Let's see how they they go with that. Is um, Jordan Romano fully safe as the closer? It's going to be a question probably all year long. And obviously, Yariel Rodriguez, you want to see how he looks in the Blue Jays uniform. Uh, Josfer Zulueta, again, kind of like the Addison Barger last year. Really exciting. Was hurt a lot of last year. Couldn't really find his footing in AAA. And he's here again. So what's happening next? Uh, Anything else we got here? Not really. Nothing really crazy else. You're sure you guys got you got guys battling for the 26th man in the roster, like a Vogelbach and and uh, Eduardo Escobar and and Spencer Horowitz. But like, really, are we gonna do this again? Where we start talking about the 26th guy in the roster? I'm not doing it again. We did it with Otto Lopez last year, and everyone's crapping themselves. And he was bad last season. He was not healthy in Buffalo, and he didn't really look good at all in Buffalo. He just got traded to the to the San Francisco Giants for cash, and they took all that time last year to talk about him. So let's not do it. Let's not do that. Jays fans, I'm not going to ask for predictions yet. I'm going to ask you one question. And that is, what are you looking forward to watching in spring training? If you had to give me one thing that you're excited to look at, what do you think it is? For me personally, obviously a huge fan of Alec Manoa. Bought his jersey. Talked to him on Blue Jay Center Live before he was with the Blue Jays at all. Um, so, a little bit of a bias here. But... He's a big part of this Jays team. And to see him go out there in his first start, pound the strike zone, have that little swagger on the mound, don't look like the clock is affecting you. That's what I'm looking forward to is spring training. That, I mean, you can say Vladi, but obviously the younger players and Alec Manoa for me. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and are jacked up to watch baseball again, even though it ain't meaningful baseball, but it's baseball nonetheless, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. You guys not already comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the spring training stuff, the offseason as a whole, what you're excited for in the spring training, all that stuff. Talk to me down below. 
Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you've not done so already. And I will talk to you guys. Leafs edition. Uh, what is that? Uh, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Puck drop. No, 10 p.m. Puck drop in Arizona against the Yotes. And that's for the Raptors. They're back in action. Uh, 7 o'clock tip-off on Thursday against the Brooklyn Nets. And as for the Blue Jays, I won't be talking to you on Saturday. And I, again, I'll probably let you guys know in the Leafs or the Raptor video right at the very end of the video as to when the Blue Jays ones will be done. I'm guessing Sunday, as of right now, a tentative Sunday. Um, obviously not the first Sunday. Would it only be, what, two games? Well, we could do that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But regardless... I'll talk to you guys weekly, Jays edition, once spring training begins on Saturday. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and are jacked up for baseball. I'll talk to you guys then.